Hi there. So this week's topic is just about how to cope with those big situations, emotions, feelings, um, like the things that take over, the things that, you know, like when we're smacked in the face with them, that we, we oftentimes when we are swimming in these big feelings, big emotions, big thoughts, big stories, big, 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 bigs, we um, are swimming in them so much, they're all we can see. And so this week's reminder is that literally everything is only a phase. That all these life experiences, feelings, emotions, events, everything is a phase everything will pass all of the emo these emotions will pass if you allow them to if you allow them to and so the way that you allow them to is is simply to just remember that they are a phase to remember that 20 years from now is this instance really going to matter like when we're in that road ragey thing of we're like oh, we're pissed off about the truck cutting us off and everything else. In the moment, it feels like the end of the world and just everything's coming in on you. But really, are you even gonna remember that? Like, are you even gonna remember it at the end of the day or next week or 20 years from now? And so therefore, like really putting those things into perspective of everything's a phase. Everything will pass if you allow it to. And one of the ways to do that is to put your, Fast forward yourself into the future and really take note of what is the action that I could take today that I will be proud of them. So if that road ragey thing happens and somebody cuts you off and then you allow yourself to be taken over by that anger emotion and it's not fair and whatever else comes into that, you could potentially lose control enough to cause an accident or make something final out of it. You know, you can end up harming yourself or someone else by acting on that very temporary emotion and making it permanent by, you know, some kind of big accident happening or something like that. So it's remembering that the reality is it's all temporary. It will all pass if you allow it to if you allow the feeling to pass on its own, if you do bring in the perspective of 20 years from now, then what? All of those things that in fact, you can allow it to pass and then be proud of your decision on how to handle these things. So it's about stopping, pausing, and gaining that bigger perspective, that bigger time and distance perspective of, is it really worth a, a potential permanent harm coming from a very tiny, tiny, tiny incident. Now, sometimes the incidents aren't tiny. Sometimes they are bigger and sometimes phases last more than 30 seconds that it takes for somebody to cut you off, right? Sometimes the phases are actual phases of life. Um, it, those of you that are parents know that, <laughs> you know that some of these, you know, um, child development phases last a little bit longer. And so, you know, they may last days, weeks, months, maybe even years, but still knowing they still always pass though. They still always, always, always pass. And so reminding yourself of that, of everything's a phase, Everything will pass if you allow it to, as long as you allow yourself to see the bigger perspective and that you don't allow those big feelings to bring on urges and follow through with actions that can make things permanent, that really are just in and of themselves, temporary and in a state of flow, if you allow it to. Let me know what you think. Also, I would like to invite you to Ask me questions, man. Send in your questions and I will answer them. Um, you can email me a question and maybe I'll do a video about it. Um, ask me any questions in the comments and, and I can answer them there. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to answer the things that you're curious about or that you're stuck on or that you question in what I'm, you know, my teachings or whatever it is. Bring them on, bring on the questions. I want to be able to, I want this to be a little bit of a two-way street as much as it can be. And so reach out, email me, message me below. 
do all the things um, to to get your questions to me and maybe I will answer them in a video. Um, have a wonderful week and I will see you next week.